We'll get started. I haven't done much changes to the reference photo. One thing I have done is I have moved this small shed uh, towards the right so that I get a good uh, construct, sorry, contrast against the, the shape of the car. So what we'll do is we'll get started. I'll start with the background first and then we'll look at how we can paint this cow. So I'll mix a bit of a burnt sienna. And before that, I'll just uh, spray some water. So this will not be a, this will not be a finished painting as such. So it will just the purpose of this demo is to just to demonstrate how we can paint a cow against a dark background. So I'll add a bit of a yellow color. I'll take that uh, yellow ochre and put in the hay as well. Just a tinge of uh, green in there for the hay. So that's pretty much what the background is for painting this uh, car. While it's still uh, wet, I'll just drop in a bit of uh, ultramarine blue into the into the burnt sienna wash that we did earlier. Just let it mix with. All right, so what I'll do is I'll let this dry and then we'll move on to painting the cup. Right, so now I'm going to paint the, the lighter parts of the cow with, uh, with white paper and the rest would be kind of a, a warm mix of a uh, Quinacridin rose, a bit of yellow ochre, and a bit of uh, burnt sienna as well. So I'll try to get this shape here going. So start here. And it's pretty warm and dark around here. I'll put that in next. Here as well. I'll 
use a bit of water to lighten this wash a bit and a few more dark spots here as well. Right, so what next is I'm going to completely dry this with the, with the hair dryer and then we'll move on to putting the dark spots in the car. Right, so it's completely dry. So my next step is to put the patches in the crowd. So I'm going to mix a bit of cobalt blue and maybe a bit of burnt amber. So I'm going to paint this in two steps. One would be kind of a lighter, a lighter mix and then a much darker, almost a black pigment on top of that. So first I'll mix, uh, I'll use the lighter pigment. Sorry, the lighter mix and so with the patches in the cow, I'm going to kind of uh, use my artistic license and try to uh, make it as pretty as possible as well as to help uh, connect it with the rest of the painting. So I know that this part of the painting will be dark later. I'll be putting in another wash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create kind of a connection here with the dark. Oh, this needs to be a bit more dark. Here. So this, this patch would connect the cow with the background. So it's very important to connect shapes in a painting. Otherwise each would uh, read on its own and not as a painting and I'll put in this patch where it is already so no difference there and I'll take this dark uh, there's a patch over here And I'm going to paint the whole face as black so it will give a nice contrast against the hay that we have put in here. And parts of this leg as well would be black.
Right, so I'll let that dry and move on to this particular background here. So this is going to be very, very dark. I'll use a bit of uh, burnt tamper. And a bit of uh, ultramarine blue as well. And try to create a nice contrast against the shape of the car. So I'm being very careful with this shape. I don't want to I don't want to make any mistakes with this one. I'm trying to figure out where the shape would be here. Yeah, so it's somewhere there. Now we'll move into this. Uh, we'll move it to the hay, and again, uh, we'll make sure that the cow is visible prominently. So I'll mix a bit of raw sienna and maybe a bit of uh, some green wood too. And get that dry brush strokes to denote a bit of hay. And a bit more hay on the floor as well, so on the ground as well. A little bit more green needed there. Right, perfect. So what I'll do is I'll again let this dry completely and we'll add the finishing touches to this painting. Right, now that it's completely dry, <coughs> it's time to put in the, the darker areas of the uh, patches on the car. So again, I mix the same mix, but the wash would be much thicker now. So it's cobalt blue and burnt amber. Just put in, trying to put in the uh, right. a bit more blue needed in there. So just making this bit darker, and this 
side of the lake would be darker as well. And also the neck and the head would be much darker. Ear is casting a shadow here, so I'll put that in as well. And this dark comes and connects like that. It's dark here as well, and dark here as well. And I'll just smooth this a bit, and this edge as well. mix that uh, uh, I'll mix a bit of a yellow ochre and rose again I need to darken certain areas and, yeah. needs to be much more warmer it needs a bit more quinacrine rose in there It's a bit darker here as well. Right, so that's pretty much it, and it reads quite well as a cow. And we have made enough connections with the rest of the paintings here as well as here, so it it's nicely connected to the rest of the painting as well. So I'll just finish off. Uh, some details here. And I'll put a nice uh, shadow underneath the car as well. Use a bit of cobalt blue. Uh, I'll use a bit of lavender for that. And put it in the shadow here. A bit too dark. And I'll introduce that lavender into the hay bales, hay as well. Right. All right, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed this demo. It's just a simple, uh, almost a sketch to see how we can paint a cow. And before we wrap up, I'll just slightly show the tail here as well. Yep, that looks good. And clean up a few areas and darken the areas where.
rich. I don't know, just uh, this contrast is a bit too much because it's taking the eye away from the cow a bit, so I'll just I'll just smoothen that as well. So that's it, thanks for watching and please do subscribe to my channel for more content in the future, thank you.